eight bodies undergoing the process, bringing the total number of post-mortems to 338. Wairi Mokimani now reports. Approximately two months after the first phase of the autopsy's operation began, the third phase has been completed. Led by the government pathologist Johansen Adur, the team reveals that on the last day of the third phase, they successfully performed autopsies on eight bodies, with the majority indicating starvation as the actual cause of their death. So today we finished the third phase of postmortem process, and uh, we've done a total of eight postmortems. Of these eight postmortems, uh, adults were seven, while while one was a child. Uh, as per gender, uh, three of them were male, five of them were female. Then uh, two of them were moderately decomposed, while six of them were severely decomposed. We managed to find that two of them uh, had head injury, while uh, three of them had starvation, and three uh, we were unable to ascertain the cause of death. Currently, the pathologist explains that one of the victims who died in custody was not subjected to the autopsy as they were still awaiting the identification of the body by family. So having finished these uh, autopsies, uh, this one who we have not done, uh, the gentleman who died at, uh, at the prison, the reason being that we are still waiting for the relatives who are on the way so that now once they're here and they're able to identify their kin, we'll be able to, to do the postmortem. So with this, uh, we are planning to go to the next phase of exhumation so that we go find out whether there are any other graves remaining there and continue with the, with the whole process. During a rescue mission, investigation and autopsy efforts done on the victims of the enigmatic cult led by preacher Paul McKenzie, the team conducting these operations have acquired extensive knowledge about body decomposition process which can be published in the Kenyan Scientific Journal. When I say, what I said there is a, is a, a unique experience which you've never experienced before because uh, doing autopsy of, on 338 bodies is uh, not something which is very simple, isn't it? Yeah. So what, what we found, uh, we've uh, learned about the process itself, we've learned about the causes of death, and also we've learned a lot about the process of deterioration of bodies, which probably we can also publish. Where Mokimani, look up TV.